Hello, Internet, and welcome back. I'm Chris, developer on the AI agent team here at Docker, and I'm just here today to give you a few quick updates on the work we've been doing lately on Gordon, Docker's AI assistant. So to start things off, we've made a series of general performance improvements to Gordon. The answers are faster, more grounded in Docker's documentation, and as soon as new products and features are available or our documentation gets updated, Gordon has immediate access to this new information. As you can see here, I asked Gordon a couple of questions about DHI, Docker Hardened Images, a new product of ours. And you see that its answers include the appropriate source links. So if you're interested, you can go learn more about it yourself or just verify that what Gordon told you was correct. By the way, if you haven't heard of DHI yet, I suggest you go check it out. It's pretty cool. Another thing we've added to Gordon is thread support. Your conversations are now saved to disk locally on your machine, so you will no longer lose your previous questions and answers when you start a new conversation, and you can keep separate topics organized, getting better results instead of confusing the backend LLMs too much. One thing to keep in mind is that these threads are not synced to your Docker account, so be careful when deleting them because they are not recoverable. Moving on, we are adding support for attachments in Gordon. This is pretty cool because it allows you to easily attach files to your question as extra context for the LLM. So our models will be able to reference it when answering your questions. No more copy pasting the entire content of the files that you're interested into the text input box, making messages hard to read and generally everything a bit cluttered. Just hit the plus icon, attach your file, ask your questions. In this example, you can see Gordon is aware of the contents of this compose file I attached and can even help me optimizing it or doing whatever it is I need to do with it. Last but not least, I wanted to show you a bit of how you can use Gordon to leverage the awesome work some of my colleagues have been doing on the MCP catalog and toolkit. So you can start to dive a bit deeper into the world of AI using nothing but Docker desktop. If you click on the little wrench icon you see here, you'll get access to Gordon's toolbox. Here you can see some of the built-in tools Gordon has access to, but you can also see a section called MCP toolkit, which is currently disabled. So let's go enable it and try some tools from the catalog. Let's start simple and give Gordon the ability to search the web using DuckDuckGo, for example. Just click on the Add button, and your containerized MCP server is ready to be used. Connecting Gordon to the MCP toolkit works in much the same way as it does for other clients. So let's just go to the Clients tab and click Connect. Now let's give it a quick try. Perfect. Gordon can now see and use the tool we just added. But what about tools that may require authentication? The MCP toolkit allows us to securely set up each server with the required configuration or credentials as required. Let's try out our new Docker Hub MCP server as an example. So this server requires configuration with a username and a personal access token. Thankfully, that's pretty easy to get with our Docker account. So let's just go to app.docker.com. Click down here and into personal access tokens. Now you can quickly create a new token like this. Don't worry about this. Uh, it'll be revoked by the time this video goes up. So no worries there. Connect it over here. Okay. Hit save. Perfect. Now our server should be ready to use. So let's go back to Gordon and give it a quick test here. Let's ask it a few random things about my repositories, what tags are in here. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, the MCP server has connected to my personal Docker Hub account using the configured credentials. These are stored securely in Docker Desktop. All right, so that's it for today's Gordon updates. If you have any questions or feedback, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. And also don't forget to check out Docker Hardened Images and a Docker MCP toolkit and catalog. Some cool stuff we've been working on lately. See ya.